go out live to Lumberton in Robinson County where WMBF News anchor, my co-anchor Meredith Heline and reporter Aaron Ladd are right now. Guys, you've found flooding in that area. What else can you see right now? Good evening, Eric. We did. It took us four hours to get here from Myrtle Beach today. We ended up having luck going from 22, 501. We ended up going up uh, through Dillon to get to 95, and we just got here in Lumberton within the last half hour. There were several road closures that we had to skip along the way to finally get here. Luckily, a lot of police officer helped us out. So. It didn't take long to find something here in Lumberton. As soon as we got here, this is what we were greeted by. You can already see a road washed out here. We're at Back Swamp Road and Langham Drive, Eric. And the locals here that we've already spoken with said that this is actually Back Swamp Canal, but it leads to the Lumber River. And you can already tell that this doesn't look like a canal anymore. They say that there's usually not much water here, but this already looks like the river itself. And you can see how powerful it was to wash out this road right here, this bridge to get to homes that you can see right over here. Um, there's some trailers back there. And in the last half hour that we've been here, we've seen about five or six ATVs come through that water, a few trucks. But if you look really closely back there, there's a car submerged. There's some other cars submerged in the background, not as much. Uh, people have been trudging through that within the last half hour. And they say that they cannot believe this. The people that we spoke with were also here during Matthew and they cannot believe that it's happening to them again. Now, this is the first thing we stumbled upon. We were on our way to a fire department to meet up with the Cajun Navy. This was on our route. And obviously we're going to be finding a different way to meet up with them tonight. So we'll keep you updated for now. Live in Lumberton, I'm Meredith Heline. Back to you, Eric. Hey, good evening, Eric. We did. We started out with the Cajun Navy and they were making rescues throughout the day, also rescuing a couple dogs along the way. Now we came down to Fifth Street in Lumberton and we're here with the Raina McDonald Fire Department out of Roland, North Carolina in a high water rescue vehicle. Now I want you to take a look over here. This is where the dam where they built. This is the dam under I-95. Uh, people who live here before Hurricane Florence hit took sandbags to try to build a breach there. You can see where it has been compromised. Uh, again, they took they built it up with sandbags. It didn't work. You can see that water just overflowing and we were on I-95 earlier on that overpass and that water is powerful. We were telling you about it earlier tonight at five and you can see just how deep it is here. This is the West Lumberton Baptist Church. This church, unfortunately, also flooded during Hurricane Matthew. You can see how they have more sandbags than most people do. They have rows and rows, three rows there of sandbags. I think four over here at their front door. Hopefully it was enough, but it is completely flooded here in downtown Lumberton. Now I'm going to move things over. I'm here with the fire chief, Jimmy Hunt. Thanks for joining us this evening. And they've been part of rescues all weekend long. You say yesterday, though, was your busiest day when you rescued a baby. Can you tell us about that? We were driving, making checkpoints uh, down MLK Highway 41 and we ran up on a family that was stranded in the floodwaters, a mother, father and an infant baby. Um, we loaded them up, took them to the shelter and got them to a shelter and went back out and searched some more. Um, and so we got them in safely. How dangerous are these waters? I mean, right now it looks like it could be what, two or three feet. I mean, we can see that current and how strong it is right over there. Oh, it's very dangerous as we uh, get off the truck and go and do spot searches uh, you can feel the current pushing your legs from under you sometimes you have to grab things to hold yourself up um, very dangerous that's the reason we're out here trying to encourage folks that have not gotten out to get out and you yourself i think this is the essence of first responders you yourself are going through some tough times right now and here you are tonight can you tell us what's going on at home and why you're here well, we have some damage in my home. My uh, uh, whole master bedroom is flooded um, or they just demolished. The uh, roof, the shingles on the roof came off. All the sheetrock fell in, um, you know, and still got a passion to come out and just get folks out of harm's way. You know, uh, I can replace my sheetrock in my bedroom, but lives cannot be replaced. So I'd rather be out here just bringing folks in to safety. Thank you, Chief, and thanks for having having us here with you. We're going to continue staying on here, looking for people on this high water rescue vehicle. There's another look of um, that dam that's been breached. We're going to send it back to the studios for now. Live in Lumberton, I'm Meredith Heline, WMBF News.